Who is this? That boy Jalen just talking. <laughs> JJ. I'm off, off the grid screen, boy. Welcome to the Pack Life Podcast, episode 12. I'm the host with the most, Bruiser Carter, along with some family and friends. Stop looking at me. We got Lil B to my left. Yes, sir. We got Cut Card all the way to the right. Before I let go. And we got special guest JB, Jalen, in the building. What's good? How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? technical difficulties over there. You straight? Just a little blessing. It's a that's blessing a to rat, be here. That's a wreck. I won't do that. It's a blessing to be here. You feel me? I appreciate your humble attitude. I wish uh, Cut could act like, like more of you. Why act humble when you the star of the show? That's what's going on. <laughs> Boy, you is not the star. It's so hard to be the star of the show. Where should we start? Let's start with uh, music. The big, nah. Let's start with the big news. Then we get the music. Uh, Tiger Woods won the Masters. Great for Tiger. Yeah. That's great for Tiger. I support Tiger. I support him. It's great for Tiger. You need to support Tiger. I really bro. don't identify as black. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Don't matter, <laughs> bro. It doesn't change the fact that he's black. Oh. Bro, when you got black in you, bro, you black, bro. Nah, he black, but bro. It's, you it's, can look at him and say cool he black. It's cool to be black when, you, when you're going for the culture, but when you're doing something for the culture, but then when you're not doing something, then you don't follow him. Hold on, People man. like this, bro. Oh, I keep the same God. energy at all times. Do I care about him cheating on his wife? I do not. That's not my business. You should. Not my problem. <laughs> not my relationship. Well, he came back from the Ooh, Ben. Came back from the surgeries. Wait. Back surgery, Achilles. But I rather injury. see a black man win it. But I like Jordan Spieth too. So that's a white guy. So he five. <laughs> oh, you don't support but you black? mad? But you mad because Tiger won? I'm that's mad black. That's what I'm saying. I'm mad because he be cooning. How? He be going to Malargo with Donald Trump golfing and shit. Yeah, it, I said. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it do matter. But why can't you just be happy, bro? It's like you take race out of it and just like look at it from a you golf standpoint. That. That's what I'm saying. Like it's a great, great win for Masters. A golf guy probably uh, they view viewership went up when a uh, tiger went on that run to come back from whatever yeah, place he was in and win the Masters. I just like people to keep that same energy. Like and he three major titles away bro. to be all time. You know, bro. all time. His time doing research. Of, I'm about to make y'all laugh real quick. Who my ex told me? Which which uh, one? Oh, here we go. Keep that same energy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like people should keep that same energy. I think he should apologize for that cool stuff. I don't like that. Bro, but it, you like can't said, control what he but does. When, but like I said, when he did that, what he did with his wife and cheated on her and all that, who had his back? Who had his back? Who else had? Who else? What's wrong with this man? This man is tripping today. It's only been like what three minutes. In? <laughs> so let me ask you this. So <laughs> let me ask you this. <laughs> what other? What, I'm sorry, mom. I'm gonna stop cursing now. What other athlete you know lost all his endorsements from cheating on his wife? Some in his personal life. I know he blackballed him. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So if you know he got blackballed, I mean he may have his ways and support who he support. I mean if that if those views don't. I mean that's what I'm saying. Like. You but can't the, really give him no but energy. No, but the bro, you can't really give Trump no energy. As Asian over black, I don't get it. That's the same thing. OJ I mean, OJ. he's mixed with Asian and black. And that's like, he's yeah, black. And my, I don't rock with OJ either. Anybody, that, I what? feel like if you fold on your culture and your heritage, excuse me, define what that means. Fold on your culture and heritage. Folding on your culture and heritage, basically trying to identify as something else that you that you may be percentage of, but to put down another <clears> side of your culture. You can be Afro Latina. You can be. Mm-hmm. African American, you can be mm-hmm. Afro Asian if that's how they combine it. Blasian, I don't know, but look, my point is, you can use both. You don't have to make it one over the other. Some people prefer nah. to, be but people forget to, about, yeah, but people, do, but people do forget about stuff over. like that. It's a preference. I mean, because back in the slave day, if you had any percentage of black in you, what were you? Black. All right, still the same. Right. That's so what I'm saying. saying regardless of what he say, so, you going. You're he's black. Away. Tiger's master win. I'm not taking away his master win. I'm saying I don't what he care. Said. You definitely are. If you're saying you but don't I care, do, you're taking away. But, but I do want a master's hat. He hasn't won since what? They said he 15, would never 16? win ever again. It has been a minute. Who cares what they said? <laughs> he hasn't won Who in like they? 20. He hasn't won in like 2015 and 16 though. Like it's been a minute. You can okay, congrats, congratulate. Him. Congrats, Tiger. Thank you. The most dom the most dominant player in the sport. He was just hurt. Talk about it. Got black people to watch golf. Facts. Facts. You saw everybody on Twitter was going for him. Yeah, cause Twitter like to ride whoever hot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Say you you really sound yeah, like Twitter, you hate you Not everybody it. on KD side. Well, that KE interview was so. Man. I didn't last that nice transition yeah, there. Yeah, the uh, Los Angeles Clippers and the Golden State Warriors tied one one. Game three tonight. <clears throat> Let's get it to our Warriors expert. 
how will the, the Warriors bounce That's back cap. after the biggest yeah. playoff his, a playoff uh, deficit? Bro, it hasn't tough, even been know, how Boogie went down that way, that torn quad. We need him in the playoffs, but oh we still got four great guys on the uh, on the Warriors. You know, Draymond, Steph. Like, hasn't even been so I expect, bro. I expect to see more out of Katie and Steph <laughs> this this series, this game. So, like I said, uh, Clippers not winning no more. There's no chance. Golden State gonna stop playing with them. So yeah. Okay, so let me ask you a question, please. Why, why, how did they blow that lead? They lost focus. They lost focus. And they, they they just keep turning the ball over. Like, they, they have forty three turnovers in two games. I don't okay. like it. I don't like it. Forty three turnovers in two games. That is terrible to me. So so that's that's because of complacency, correct? Yes. So you know, with complacency setting in, are you are you confident that these guys can go out and and perform on the road? Yes. Better question: If this series go to six, or possibly probably not, but seven, and Houston sweeps Utah. You get a well-rested uh, Houston Rockets team versus a yep. fatigued Golden State team without their best center. Mm. No uh, center that can bring it up the court. Durant, no, Durant, Durant no Missley. Don't sleep on Kevon Looney, bro. Oh, Andrew Bogut. Please don't sleep. And him, too. Please don't sleep on Looney him. or Boogie? Bogut. Looney Bogut. Looney or game. Boogie? Bogut or Boogie? <laughs> Put Bogut it in the matter, game. don't matter, bro. They've been, with, they've been without Boogie most of the whole season anyway. They've been winning. I don't know, man. Pat, Patrick Beverly and uh, KD Jordan Head. Time. No, Jordan Bay ain't getting no minutes. Stop it. I mean, he got a ring. Let's talk about this uh, Sixers-Brooklyn series. Report came out that Ben Simmons was, after a game or before a game, went to um, say went to a club. Man, there's been a, what's the word? Um, like, you know. Been, uh, he's not committed. Um, <laughs> With a jump shot like that, you in a club. <laughs> no, I'm um, I think there's just a lot of talk in the Twitter sphere. Uh, nah, they said this report is true. Oh, they said, oh yeah, they said uh, Kendall Jenner broke up with him. For real? Word. Yeah, with Ben Simmons. Cause he wasn't working on his jump shot. Kardashian curse. He don't need no card, bro. He could get any. Do you, <laughs> she's not a Kardashian. And one report, she, one report is saying uh, the Sixers are too immature to um to make it far in the playoffs. So what do you guys think? I mean, they might be, but who? I mean, I believe that. First off, if I'm a millionaire and I'm 22 because he's the same age as me, and I mean, I get paid to hoop. I'm probably gonna learn how to shoot. But why I can't go out? It's because he went out the day before a game. Was it like playoffs, bro? You gotta be focused. You gotta be focused. Like you need to be focused mainly on that. You don't need to be going. It might come to him with ease. It might come to him different than some others. He might need to go to the club and see some women. How is it? And get a little no. shot, and then he can be straight. So let me oh. let me ask you it's this. It's not cool. That's, bro, you can't tell a man how to live, bro. That's, that's the problem with today's society, bro. No. Everybody got rules and restrictions on how they somebody man, goes Mr. He missed a regular season like, game in Orlando because he was out partying. Mm. How did that come out today? What you mean? When was the game? That was a regular season game, so it was earlier. Like late? Reg- like They played the Magic towards then, didn't they? Uh, yeah, no. probably was on that road trip. Orlando, we were supposed to go to Orlando. I plan on missing a couple games. Playoff games on TV. Mm-hmm. But as an NBA player, you shouldn't be missing games, even if you was out partying. Nah, not, not around not this time. Not, that, 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 not around this time. Especially if it was during the uh, playoff stretch, like down the road to <clears throat> before the playoff start. Missing a game period is not acceptable. He's not committed I didn't know he missed the game. The game. I yeah, thought y'all it. said. He's not so he committed didn't play to at the all. game. He missed the game. Like, he didn't play. What they list him as? Out? Like, they said he was hurt? I'm on that. Why come on say now, that bro? load management? I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, you know, reports always come out for a reason. They trying to. But why they cover it up? And Elton, I her, saw another report that said Elton Brand was um seeking a trade ban because he he's been unwilling to uh, trade him, do a shoot a three <laughs> or even like work trade. on his free throws. Trade him, the, trade him to New Orleans. I'll take him for AD with, with some other pieces. Mm-mm. On me, I would. Shh, y'all, y'all the trip, y'all tripping. No, you're. If tripping. you don't think that boy the next coming, potentially. Who? If you learn how to shoot, them, man. That's but if you learn how to shoot, but that's that's, 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 that's what LeBron saying. He's LeBron, not. He's not trying to learn, to learn how to shoot. shoot, but not as long as him. But LeBron took a minute to learn how to shoot. Bro, LeBron didn't ever miss a game. If he don't get that right this offseason, there's no way Philly is going that deep next year in the playoffs. That's true. They're not. They're not making it out the first round. I don't know what it is. Philly just don't have good taste in shooters. Like drafting them. JJ. Oh yeah. Markel did the same thing. They had to trade him. You trade Ben and Markel, y'all wasted time. They had Robert Covington. He was a shooter. 
No. But they, they went all in getting Jimmy and getting Tobias. So this is the year they was going to run. Jimmy supposed to be gone. Because Jimmy a rental and Tobias is a rental for a year. Yeah, I think both of them could stay, though. Who? Jimmy. Jimmy wants, Jimmy's Jimmy's wants the Jimmy <clears throat> wants the bag. What is that? He wants the money. What they that? don't got it? I don't they, think they're willing to pay him. They're not going to pay they Jimmy that it, bag. They, they, they got it, but then once they pay him, that's going to exile somebody else's contract. Yeah. Jimmy, so Jimmy's if it's a deal. If it's a two-year deal, maybe. But if it's a three, four-year deal, then... When Ben's it's been time to get paid, what you gonna do? I'm pretty sure they go work something out. Though. Ben contract up the season after this. Yeah, it is. yeah. Dang, yeah, they gotta pay Ben. Yeah, they're oh, paying oh, him. They gonna trade him. They paying Ben, bro. They're paying him. I really want to talk about just two more other series because other series I really don't care about. Let's do the um, the Spurs and Nuggets. Yeah. Now that caught me by surprise. Now, Cut called it the Spurs. The Spurs should have beat them game two if it wasn't for Jamal Murray having a uh, outstanding oh, no. performance. Sorry. Sorry Sit up. So, I mean, and then I saw a stat that said Denver lost 11 straight games in San Antonio. So, I think the Spurs might run the table and be up 3 1. Mm-hmm. Now, I think Denver potentially can uh, come back from a 3 1 lead, though. No. I think so. Then you got to go back to San Antonio again. I know, and I think game six is going to be too pivotal for them to lose. I think uh, it's like, over. I think they about to see DeRozan come alive because he really ain't been. It's been Lamarcus Aldridge. Now there wasn't balling though. He has, he has yes, yes, that's a problem. I'm saying, but Derek White, Derek yeah. White baptized. Yeah, Paul Millsap game one. And from that point forward, I knew that I was onto something. I mean, and then the Pacers almost did, did it last night, and then they blew it. So, I like to see what the Celtics do when they go to. Uh, can we can we talk about that? It took it took Kyrie 37 points, and they still only won whoa. by eight. What does that mean? What? What is that? They still only won by eight. That's why when people was talking about me saying the Pacers could beat them in six or seven, people call me an idiot. But I'm, I'm probably I'm leaning towards with Demond. This might be a sweep. What you mean? It's a sweep, bro. <laughs> it's not, it's what are you talking about? Sweep. They what have no mean? closer. Anyone can win at home. They have no star that can so take right. over. Talk about <laughs> go to seven. Anyone can win at no, home, bro. They're not going to seven, bro. Bro, it's anyone can win at home. No, when you get when you get Kyrie and Jason Tatum going, bro, it, it's Indiana has no star that's, them, that's gonna bro. like come out and like they take not. over the moment. If they, they have to they, play well together in order to win. To beat the Pacers without their best player, you tell I me. Mean, even if they do win, you think they're gonna win the next game? But the Pacers are a well coached team. You don't. You know how the Pacers. Who gonna drop thirty for them, bro? Wait, the Bucks weren't no, they down the by twenty five? Who dropping thirty for the Pacers though? It don't matter, but weren't they but down they by thirty five on their own Miles. by twenty five on their home floor? No. Wait. Bogdanovich? No. He can get thirty. <laughs> no. Young boys. Tyreek Evans can he drop thirty. Young boy, trip. What can they do in the playoffs? <clears throat> Two more games left in uh, Indianapolis. No, you're right. Losing you're right. There are two more games no, left right in that series. Just know if they win one in Indiana, it's over with, yeah, bro. So, I mean, yeah, obviously. You going to eat your words and come on a podcast and admit you were wrong? You should. I'm not going to admit nothing because they're going to lose the next round to the Bucks. They're not going far. Like I said. The Bucks are going to any big See how he changes argument? Nah, we could dive into it. But I already said the Bucks was going. I said the Bucks is going to play the 76ers and the But you said the Pacers are going to beat the Celtics. Okay. I also, y'all also said the Nuggets are gonna beat the. He said the Nuggets I gonna beat the uh, Spurs. I did say that. That's why right. I said. That's why I said right. it caught me by surprise. But he didn't say he was wrong. So why I gotta say I'm wrong? I was wrong. What you mean? <laughs> like what you I mean? Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> and to the other series that that's really of importance, the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Portland Trailblazers. This Portland Trailblazers are up two zero as Game Three and Four heads to what Oklahoma. Looking City. at me for. Give me OKC. You were wrong, still. Give me OKC in seven. And uh, recently, Drake, uh, I don't know if Drake Arby Graham posted a picture. I didn't see that on his Instagram story. You ain't see it? Looks okay, so it's not true. It's probably nah, fresh. I saw it. So, you know. You seen it Thunder on his six. Instagram story. You I just seen it from DeMond Insta story. Did you click it on Drake's story and see it? I don't need to. I just saw a picture with Drake in a Blazers jersey. So, that means Thunder and six. Do the math. The energy's out there. It's Photoshop. So it's, it's a wrap. But, old, but yesterday he was at a the Drake Toronto curse Maple has Leafs been proven, game. Where the Maple Leafs jersey? So and they and they lost six jersey? four though. And why would he switch to a Dame jersey? The same night. <clears throat> probably got he probably got money. Drake has he probably money. got money. Why would he switch to a Dame jersey after the Toronto Maple Leafs game? I'm more than positive Drake was about to hook hook up with a, a young lady and have a nice night. <clears throat> this is man. He's he snitching. Really? I'm just saying. Hello. Yeah, I don't see none on the story. Boy on his phone, what? So let's see, let's see. Come on, get into your Russ hate bag. I'm gonna let you get into it. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> I got you. So listen, like I said, the Trailblazers are gonna win in six. Like I said, Dame has something to prove this year, and he's proven it. 
He's been getting rust out his bag, making that little baby crown on the court. Like, what? why he pushing? Dame. Dame looking at him like he's stupid. Like, Russ is a crybaby. Bro, let me ask you a question. Wait, I'm listening. Let me ask you a question. I'm listening. Do you truly believe, as a pure, that Dame's a better point guard than Russ? Yes. Russ? Russ no. is not a pure point okay, guard. Okay, so, so let's, let's go through this. Okay. I, let's go through like this. Like I said, it's only Name, the triple doubles. Outside of shooting, what can Dame do better than Russ? Outside of shooting, I mean, Dame can pass. Dame can play. Dame D. can pass. How many? How many he times have he, he averaged over ten ball, assists? Though. What you mean? He can't do that. He has to score for this team, so he can't. They have. They don't have CJ McCollum. They do. It's him and on CJ. Electric, on an electric. It's two? him and CJ. It's him and CJ. So, but, but who's stopping them though? Yeah, on OKC. They're both what dropping fifty and sixty. What they do that? What they do that in OKC? They can't. Yes. I think, I think McCollum can. I think Dame cannot. Dame can. No, I cannot. I Dame don't is that. in Russ's head right now. Who, who Russ? Let's talk about, bro. Pull, just pull up Russ the st- statistics, bro. Please. Let's talk about it. I'm so sorry about that. I apologize. It was an important call. Um, nobody wants to ain't worried about you, bro. Much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want his name. You know it. <laughs> You're written off. First I'm off, taking. I'm taking your spot. Let me hop into this. Um. Okay. You <clears throat> said the the Blazers gonna win, right? Yes, and six. You're wrong. Secondly, why are you wrong? Tell me. They won two games in Portland. Mm-hmm. The the Thunder have beat them four times this season. Mm-hmm. It's hard to beat a team five straight times. Mm-hmm. It's hard to beat a team five out of six times. Mm-hmm. Okay, trade mm-hmm. it down. 4-2. Well, mm-hmm. it's 4-2 on the year. Mm-hmm. 2-0 in this series. Mm-hmm. They're going to Oklahoma, one mm-hmm. of the hardest places to play in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Russell and Paul George are hot at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I hear you. You don't you you don't even watch the Blazers <laughs> to know what the Blazers gonna do. Exactly. I, I be went watching to the them. playoff game and watched Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum choke up I'm in, a, them. in a sweep, I, bro. In, I, a, in a game four, I seen them previous playoffs like how they played. I, I watched them both. They weren't effective like they Love are now. Game to death, but like I said, they're effective if this Paul year. George they got something to prove this year. If the shots are falling and the Thunder winning. It's that simple. Russ averages in the playoffs this year nineteen points per game. Ten and a half assists per game and nine and a half rebounds per game. Almost a triple double. Sh- shooting thirty five percent from the field. Terrible. And from the three point line. Oh lord. Terrible. Ten percent. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> like I said. Like I said. And hey, y'all really just think this Bro. dude shooting. Has shooting. it only been two games? Oh, no. it Bro, is it seriously even over yet? If you can't shoot. You can't shoot. He cannot shoot. Nick. He ha- excuse my language. <laughs> excuse he- my language. <laughs> Shooting, act, shooting, thirty five percent is not the bad part. It's the ten. The 10% it's the ten percent. The ten percent is bad. Is bad. His three point percentage <laughs> of the season was twenty nine percent. Thirty five percent mean you hit the whole not a, He's season. not a three point shooter, bro. Thirty five percent mean he was. He's either getting to the cup or he's what hitting the, the mid range. All right, what was the regular field goal percentage in the regular season? Forty two point eight. Mm. You think that's good? That's good. It's I mean, it's all right, good. but it's not. It's not that good. Considering that he does still take threes, even though he's not a shooter. Why he keeps trying? That's, that's he has the space to score. It's for spacing. Score, bro. I mean, if you open, shoot it, bro. It's, it's for stop. spacing, bro. Work on his mid range. Okay. That boy agreed. His mid range is deadly, the by Rez, the way. The Russ hate is tiring. It's exactly. Tired, very tired, good. Tired. Really and y'all, uh, PG, he's choking up again in the playoffs. What's going on? Yeah, I like Eastern Conference PG. What's going West on? I mean, <laughs> y- y'all brought him there to win. <laughs> hey, uh, hey what's going on? Playoff P. <laughs> Playoff P. Look, put it like this. He got a shot. I bro, know that. Nah, but Russ said he was fine in game two. He's all right. Bro, he was better game two, though. He was. It's just. Bro, I, bro, I called them the Oklahoma City Rockets, bro. I felt like they missed 27 threes uh, game two. Them boys. Clink, 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 clink. Boy. Bing. Bing. I want to see, I want to see praying that they'll come back like the that? Clippers. It's because they was Say on the bing. road, bro. That's all. Hit back of the iron. Oh, yeah. That, hey, that, that Portland crowd, uh, <laughs> something serious, though. The way they get into the game, and now at that, the Motor Center, and that possession, that, that possession Dame had when he started clapping, came back and shot that deep three. Great, my face was like. And then the funniest one when he let Russ shoot that three, and he basically like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. he can't shoot, <laughs> like he can't he shoot. Said it. He said no, it. no, he can't shoot. No, the, the only thing about him letting guarding Russ and Russ missing was that he came down and pulled that three. Right That's what I'm saying. Right, right after that, and it was deep. It was like. Okay. That's why Russ not messing with this man, bro. I love Dame, bro. I, Russ, I love Dame, <laughs> but Dame. Well, it wasn't as cool when you said it. I like when you said it. I love Dame, bro, but he's not better than Russ. Okay, bro. That's you, not the argument, though. That the is. Argument the, is who going to the series? That's what his. That was his. Trailblazers. Trailblazers okay. six. But you. 
who's arguing Dame is better than Russ? Me and him. him. So Me you and really him. think Dame better than Russ? Yes. All right. Yes. When it comes to the point guard position, brother, it's, it's the two, point guard position. You know, yeah. I mean, it's Russ. just because Dame has to do this, though. He has to score for his team. Cause really he does not like, have to. They had yes, Nurkic. Now, they had Nurkic. Now, I, I do agree with this, that um, if the Westbrook loses, series, Thunder loses series, they might need to, like, Mm. With Russ, something need to change. Mm. They, uh, with Russ, that's interesting. Because I don't think it's Russ. No, but listen, listen, listen. The first series mm. that was the made the playoffs, triple double MVP year. That's when he lost to the uh, Rockets. And Rockets. They, but that, that was a good year for them. Then last year they lose to Utah after going to six with PG. <laughs> and but they had you know Melo was the like scapegoat. <clears throat> but now it's just PG and Russ. If they okay. can't get a job done I'm this series, say, I'm not gonna cap. Outside of PG and Russ, the rest of that team and, and Stephen Adams. The rest of the team is pretty bonds. Uh, Dennis, no, Dennis, Dennis I like Dennis. Dennis, Dennis Schroeder. He Dennis. Dennis Chill out. Come on, Dennis sleep on Dennis. Dennis money Schroeder. He's coming off the bench. He's a sixth man. Uh, Ferguson. But yeah, Ferguson nice. been missing. No. He's just been off a little bit. Ooh. And what I don't understand, oh, why Grant? are they letting Raymond Felton Osef out there Play. on Dane? Why is Dane? he guarding Dane? Why is he guarding him? I said that. Why I is he guarding him? Why? I'm like, that is a mismatch. 34-year-old on a 27. <laughs> his big, his big 20, small self is a hobbling out there. On He's a 27-year-old a that's strong and fast, bro. Bro, he yoked him. He said, whoop. And that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, it's crazy, bro. Like, nah. Like, I don't know. It, it, it really might be a coaching thing. Like, when people say KD didn't like the coach. I can see that now because I'm, I'm getting a little. That's why I said fire Billy. I think oh. it's Billy. Why I said I think it's Billy, bro. First off, what did he accomplish at Florida that was that great? Did he win? Did he win a championship? He won two championships. Oh, okay, my what bad. No, this. <laughs> I didn't know if he was the coach that won those. Man. But regardless, he won two college championships. What has he done bro, in the NBA? Come on, he embarrassed man. himself every year. Nothing. He's and he had Katie and Russ. And, and they was up three one on the Warriors. That was and they blew it. And on the depot. And he had Olibos and Russ PG. At what point you had Russ PG? Oh, at one point, do the players take accountability? Facts. At what point? Because they were better the year they they they, they, they blew that three one lead. That, well, you know they were better than they were better than Golden State. You know they I were that year. Were Andre Iguodala said it out that. of his own mouth. I can admit that they were. That. that was the matchup everybody <clears throat> needed to see. So therefore, I can make the argument if they would have went to the finals that year, they're beating the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm. Therefore, getting a championship with Billy I don't Donovan. No. So I won't say that Billy is solely the know. issue. Let's think. Like, 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 but that first season when they lost, it was Katie. Yeah. Okay. That was KD. I, see, yeah. I put it on KD for that one. Okay. Then he okay. after that when they had Ola Depot, <laughs> did they even make the playoffs with Ola Depot? Yes. But, uh, yeah, that's Ola the Depot they, uh, sure did. Russ MVP when they played the Rockets lost in five. Okay. Ola Depot wasn't an effective one. Okay, yeah, see, like he is in any. And other what game. happened after that year? Who they, that, we, was that was the Utah, Utah year. One, yeah. Utah. I blame the coach for that one. But no. Yeah, people, that, that people was. People blame Melo, but it's not Melo. It was not. It was coaching. It's coaching. Like I said, like when they had Melo, like they scheme is like. They was like playing just like I ISO like the, ball. I like that I because set. Yeah, because I like it's the like they was just standing there in the corner just waiting for something to happen. Like, it's no cuts. It was no cuts, no nothing. Like, they have no offensive sets. They don't set screens. That's what I'm saying. They so, play real ISO. Bad. They still play ISO basketball on the low. Nice. No, it's, it's, uh, and that's and why. They might do a pick with Steven Adams. I don't like their pick and roll defense. Well, get the one on game one, they made adjustments game two. But uh, game one, they used to, when they set the screen, uh, Adams would come and trap. They let Cannon run free. Can't do that. Kenner was on they the team. How do you not know what his abilities are? He literally used to play that two years ago. He's playing, uh-huh. And he's playing better defense. And he's playing great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's playing, playing great. Defense. And I told y'all about Kenner. I told y'all he was going to go I didn't say what was wrong with Kenner. I just said uh, why he went to New no. York. Did hey, you? Bro, I saw this on Twitter. They was like, uh, all right, your life's on the line. You need either Kyle Lowry or Ben Simmons to score 20 points in the playoff game. Who you taking? I got Kyle. <laughs> somebody, said, Kyle. You, somebody said, you probably going to die for real. <laughs> I got I got Ben man LSU no plus he, he can just dunk for twenty that's ten dunks no bro that's not happening <laughs> ten dunk ten uh, ten layups get that's it how you live <laughs> who did you, did you make a bet on that on what that uh Ben Simmons wouldn't have over twenty points like in the playoff game oh that shit. would be in Demond bet oh mm. yeah what was the bet that Ben wouldn't have over tw- any uh, over twenty points in any playoff game and you bet it no, Ben bet. was gonna have twenty you, yeah. you bet he was Demond or was it Demond uh, I hope you're listening. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get some money because Ben is not scoring over twenty. Did he not have the twenty in the triple double you got? No. no. You didn't? No. Dang. Tough. I thought it's not. Glad I didn't make that bet because I would have made. That's not like a bet I make. That is a bet I make. That's why I made it. He might. He might get it tonight though. He got like eight, ten points yeah. right now I mean, in the first quarter. Without Embiid. Whoa. Without Embiid. <laughs> boy, scary. Without Embiid, uh, <laughs> he gonna try to score more. He might get it tonight. I'll be. I'll be fine. 
Is there any more playoff series y'all guys want to talk about? Or are we? What else is left? Uh, we can talk about Houston, Utah, Milwaukee, Houston, Detroit, sweet. That's a sweet. and Toronto, Orlando. Sweet. That's, that's, no, that's, 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 that's over in five. Toronto and Orlando. Not really much to talk about. No. Bro, I mean, I know the same game they came out hard, but, show they real sales, but <laughs> Orlando is a good team, bro. Because <laughs> you got them on 2K. Together, they play good together, bro. Vucevic. Just yeah. wait to see them at home, bro. They that's need, all you got to wait on. they need one more piece. You, they do. They need a wing. No, they that need can, a point guard. A star point guard. Don't disrespect I like DJ Augustine, but... I get what you're saying. His time is coming, but no. Why did the NBA... <laughs> why did the NBA... Got folks. Why did the so NBA let the out, pieces in the playoffs? I feel like, like it is, though. though. No. The Markel process. Fultz is a bust. Let's no. just acknowledge it. No. He's well, a wait, you got to see. He hasn't even played. Yeah, you got to see. He's a bust, He's just got to get that arm height. He's taking his time with it. He's taking bro, his time with it. Bro, it's mental. That. Whenever your shot is mental, like, and you and you thinking about every time you're shooting, well, there's man, no way you can, you have to have supreme well, Orlando, confidence on that, on that, the place on that I level. I feel like he can work on his mental. I and I feel like he played 33 Orlando games. Orlando is the place he's going to reach. He's played 33 games. He played what? 33 games. In his career? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's Orlando. He's going to work on it, bro. You want to know why? Why? Cause he in Orlando, he, he didn't even ask Vincent what club he went to when he missed that game. <laughs> and go, and go forget all the stuff he worried about. And they say he he they try to say your mama's boy and all that, but I don't get into people's personal life and all that. But mm-hmm. man, go go you just go to a personal club. life though. He like nineteen Hypocrit. twenty, bro. You can get in the club free. You you play for the Magic. Um, go in the club and lose your mind, bro. No. Go get in the gym and lose your mind, bro. That's you said it's mental. That's physical. If it's mental, gotta go get in the gym. It's, Only it's thing both. they can fix that is is getting in the gym, bro. No, you said it's mental. You gotta be dedicated. Uh, well, we're, you're we're making millions okay of dollars. <laughs> you, gotta be, you gotta be dedicated. We'll revisit no, these playoff sure. series if they go to uh, six or seven games, or if they win a second round comes to give our predictions because some teams may make it, some teams may not. Yeah. Switching gears to the NFL, mm. the NFL schedule released. I seen it. We have our souls, <laughs> the Saints jersey. Don't get off your phone, bro. Saints jersey. What games did y'all like? You know this. What games do you admire? Saints versus Falcons Thanksgiving Day. I will be there. <laughs> um, I need them to. Uh, ad- we need to address the uh, the Patriots. We played a. Oh, Let's in November schedule. we played a. I heard, I heard they they schedule sweet. In November yes. we played an NFC South every sweet. game. For real. I, I want to predict some uh some people's schedules we played right the Seahawks now. Seahawks week three. What's up with you, bro? Bro, on his side. What's up with you? Let's, let's uh, run I, it, young bro. I was just so stuck in all that goodness. All right, so. everybody pick one team. We're going to do the Patriots. Everybody pick one team. We're going to go over their schedule together. I was going to say the Saints, but that would be kind of... No, do, do the Saints. Saints. I'm going to Tampa Bay. The Falcons. Oh, we're going to... Oh, my no, God. Yes, we just we do the, we, let's just do the NFC South then after the... Why don't Green Bay? Everybody got team? NFC South. All right, bro. Here you go. I'm just saying. Like, the Patriots <laughs> schedules, their first five games are um, at home against Pittsburgh, at <laughs> Miami... At home against New York, at Buffalo, go at New Washington. Because I'm not going to lie, flying through them, I'm not going to New York. Oh, New York Jets. Can you just go through them? Like, Patriots know. Steelers, week one. Patriots. Give me. Uh, I think the Steelers Pitt. will win that game. Patriots. Give me, give me Pittsburgh. Keep going, just go fast. I like Patriots. Miami, <laughs> Miami, New England. Patriots. Miami, are they playing that at Miami? Away? Oh yeah, they're losing to Miami. Patriots. Nah, I, the new coach. They're no. losing to Miami. I think I think don't do uh, good Patriots will win. Bro, y'all started Keep going. We gotta talk about it. Let's just go fast. Jets, Patriots. At, um, at Patriots. No, nah, I, I really like the Jets. Patriots. Bro. Not, not I'm going I Patriots. like the Jets. Maybe by the end of the year they'll be better. Go on Patriots. Got them one and two. Three and one. Three Bills. And one. Bills. Patriots. Four and zero. Oh. Um, Redskins. I'm gonna go Patriots. Redskins. Patriots. Five. Redskins. Five. Patriots. Redskins. That's, Patriots. That's New York. Crazy. Patriots. Um, yeah. uh, Giants. Patriots. Six and one. Patriots. Then the Jets. Patriots. No. Six and one. I'm gonna say they're gonna lose that game. Y'all think they're gonna split with the Jets for real? They're not gonna Finally. split. They, they they are gonna split with the Jets okay. actually. Uh, then they're losing to Cleveland. At uh yeah, Cleveland versus Patriots in New England. Six and two. <laughs> That's nasty. You think they're gonna lose to the Browns? That high yeah, train yes. Is fun. Y'all boys. They're gonna lose I to the Browns. I have faith in Odell Beckham. Jr. You need to have faith in their head coach because you don't know I how you're gonna come. Faith. Who's their head coach? Freddie Kitchens. You don't even know. Him. Baker is 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 the new sheriff in town. I believe he is. It. I woke he up wake, feeling he dangerous. Up feeling morning. dangerous. Boy, Stay dangerous. dangerous. Then uh, Baltimore, at Baltimore. Mm, Baltimore. No, they, they got they the defense it, to stop them. Seven and. 20. Who got the defense to stop what? The Patriots have defense to stop that better. running. They really might go. The they really, they really might go. Yeah. They might. They still own before they buy week week ten. They really might start eight and one. Mm. Only okay. only game I see them losing might be that Pittsburgh game. But you don't got faith in Cleveland. Oh. How? Y'all that's, got faith in Pittsburgh. Well, that's Pittsburgh, backwards. Pittsburgh don't even have good defense. Cle- they don't. What does Cleveland have? They only have y'all, y'all only looking at paper. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. That's I got to see how right Cleveland. 
just fit together right now. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. That's why I got to see, bro. It's offense, too many the superstars. The you got to – their chemistry has to be not great. not many superstars. Hunt, Kareem Hunt not even playing early on. Like I said, that offense is fine. The defense is the only question mark, but they got a lockdown corner. I bet the offense will be top five. Who, the Browns? What, yeah. What kind no, of I don't agree with that one. What kind of coach they got? Oh, um, mm. Better uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich. Better think really Come on, bro. Keep it moving. Next schedule. You broke, boy. Uh, let's finish the Patriots at Philly. Oh, Philly, Patriots. I don't care. Then they play the Dallas. They, they play Dallas. In Dallas at Texas. Houston versus Chiefs. Kansas City at uh, Cincinnati. Pa- Patriots. Then they finish their season at home versus Buffalo and Miami. They win and out. That is so crazy. It's, it's, it's schedule really sweet, bro. Four to five games. That's crazy. That's what we just determined. Cool. Nah, that's crazy. Don't should still be playing. That boy Robert Kraft, <laughs> boy. That boy Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you just stressed, bro. What can you say? Come hey, on. man, you know, you know how it be. We don't do the Saints, bro. We'll get you happy. <laughs> versus versus, versus Texans. W L. <laughs> at Rams. W L. <laughs> At, at Seattle W L Versus Dallas W Bro, L, bro I might lose y'all the first w. five games First three I can see first three Nah be real We beat Texans I think we'll beat uh, LA Drop one in Seattle We beat uh, Dallas I think three and one Mm-mm. Okay And they and y'all losing to us Versus Buccaneers Five That's a W At That's Jacksonville Six and oh. At Chicago Seven and oh. No At I mean no. versus Arizona Eight and no oh. Oh boy, Derek. <laughs> Better case of Gatorade yeah. on that um, Tampa Bay game. You support your team, boy. I know. Versus Atlanta. 9 0. At Tampa Bay. 10 0. Versus crazy. Carolina. L. 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 At Atlanta. 12 0. Versus San Fran. 13 0. W. Versus Indianapolis. 14 0. At Tennessee. 15 0. Yeah, this guy Versus tripping. Carolina. <laughs> Uh, what we are gonna you gonna go 15 and 1 because we're gonna lose the last game on purpose? Uh, You've been like, you been <laughs> like Jace, huh? <laughs> You've been like Jace. Who, 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 who Dion already predicted to go to the Super Bowl? Dion Sanders, y'all. Favorite Falcon, bro. Y'all not going. <laughs> y'all had y'all window. That was the the bias breakdown of the Saints schedule from Cut Carter. Bias, not super bias. Djax, super bias. I said fifteen and one. I gave us one out. Nah, I lied, bro. I'm not covering the. Uh, I'm not doing the Falcon schedule. Yeah, nobody want to talk about that. Talk about should, I go to Oakland, bro. That's so disrespectful. What? Bro. I'm a guy. You're Oakland fan. How you got two in it? Yo. <laughs> Hey, who your two NFL and NBA teams? Oakland and Atlanta, bro. It's 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 with the NBA. You never been to Oakland. You never you been never like Colorado. I said, hey. like I said, when I go, y'all better not say nothing no more. What you gonna do? Go nothing. out there and take pictures? Yep. I'm, in Oakland. <laughs> I'm in Oakland. Yep, I'm in, I'm Oakland. in Oakland. Y'all can't say nothing no never more. Never been to Oakland, San Fran. You don't have no ties to the Warriors or the Raiders, but they they your team. They my then team. they're not gonna even be there no more. They're going to Vegas. It don't matter. You gonna stay <laughs> with you? Mean? Yep. It don't matter. Yep. So cap, bro. I'm I'm dead serious. When they yeah, when no. they trash this year, he don't even know why. Me. He just like the jersey color. That's why. <laughs> no, he just yeah. like the jersey. He like he like he like skulls. I like the team. They know how to play good he basketball. Like, he like skulls. That's great yeah. basketball, right there. That's he a great did, team. He doing it. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> uh, we can do this, the Raiders schedule real quick for your uh, cause you got Twitter cloud all of a sudden. You, for the Raiders, you, you speak for the people. I see. Yeah, for the Raiders. You know, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm I don't see them having a winning schedule this versus year. Versus Denver. W. Versus Kansas City. That's a that's a L. That's a at Minnesota. L. At Indianapolis, L W. At versus uh, Chicago, L. L. Then by Lil Max gonna murder them. At Green Bay, L. W. At Texans, W. L. L. This boy, bro. W. <laughs> versus Detroit, W. W. Versus the Los Angeles Chargers, L. W. Versus Bengals, W. No, they could beat the Bengals. At New York, which one? J- uh, Jets, W. W. At Kansas City, L. L. Versus Tennessee, W. That's versus L. Jacksonville. W L versus Chargers at Chargers. L. L. That's a L. And That's at L. Denver. L. W. That's a L. Hey, They're I, sweeping Denver. I go back Denver. on that uh, game against the um the game against the Jets. Le'Veon gonna run all over them. What, what am I talking about? Wait, so you think they going above five hundred? <laughs> yes. <laughs> First of all, like John Gruden said, if this dude Brand mess up no. these three draft picks, <laughs> it ain't nothing. Like like I this think is he's the year. they got at least have a winning record, bro. At least like ten and six, mm-hmm. eleven and five. How? Yes. They're not getting, what division? They, they won't they're have. They won't have no. over seven they wins. Not, they're not guaranteed. Two or, they, who they or nine and seven. Who coming out? Ain't Trevor a sophomore, right? Trevor Lawrence. Trevor got one more. I guarantee Trevor they having a winning season though. He got two more years. I guarantee they having a winning season. Besides Tua, um, Lawrence. No, he got two more years. He coming out this year. Chase. Yeah, but he not got like getting a lot of stock. It was another quarterback with Tua. Oh, uh, my boy's gonna come out next year. Who? Joe Burrow. 
playoff joke. Oh, hey, trash. hey, 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 <laughs> hey, coach. Y'all boys tripping. Thank Felipe hey, Franks. Hey, shout out to my boy. He's not that good. All right, babe. Here's my prediction. Oh, so They're going to be a winning. Here, it's going to be a winning season, though. They're not. They they won't tank for Tua because Tua's going to Miami. I think that's low key set. Wait, in stone. you think they get another quarterback? Oh yeah. Yes. Not Derek. this year. Not the, not next year draft, but the year oh. after that, they get in Trevor Lawrence to replace Derek Carr. Oh, Derek Carr that's is facts. the franchise quarterback. No, they bro. didn't pay this man two hundred million for nothing. If they're sorry and Trevor Lawrence is there, now I can see. Lawrence. Now if Derek Carr has a bad year this year, then you might question it. Mm, but no. Derek Carr is not having a bad year this year. That's the quarterback. He's my quarterback. He's John Gruden. <laughs> he's John Gruden quarterback. So I thought Matt Ryan was your quarterback. Both, both of them are my quarterback. So you just got two teams. I do. Oh, okay. Get that. And so, uh, yeah. segue to for quarterbacks. Why they, why they all Russell, Russell Wilson signed a massive extension, becoming the NFL's highest paid quarterback. Do you think? Do you think he deserve it? Seattle. Yes, sir. It's, Definitely does. It's, it's Russell Wilson. That boy got finished. <laughs> he got the deal done. <laughs> Bro, first. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, right? That's funny. That, Good night, y'all. Russ is. And then the remake, the remake, the remake, by, uh, the remake by Tyler Lockett and uh, bro, was funny he too. does he whatever that. Sierra tells him to do, <laughs> and that's that. Yeah, we started with Tyler Lockett and uh, bro, was making fun of him. Yeah, Lyman. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap, bro. When I first seen that video, I was like, this is the corniest. It's corny, bro, for real. Bro, let that man seen. live, bro. But I'm not tripping on him. Like, I'm glad he got paid. He, he deserve it. Like, he does he? It. Yeah, he got a ring. I think, Sierra love it. I think, uh, yes, he deserves a contract. But if Seattle does a run heavy offense like they did last year, then I think they would, like you ain't get the best value out of the contract. Because Russell Wilson's a great thrower, but the system that Seattle runs, especially last year, was the run heavy. Yeah. So like, money you got to let Russell throw that thing like That's what I'm plays. I feel like if he got the money now, they need to let him run the offense and do the check downs while yeah. he at the line of scrimmage. Like just seeing the whole field and let him change the plays and let the coach trust him more. Yeah, because it seemed like they didn't trust him last year with the run heavy. With a top, what last DeMond would say, a top five quarterback at Russell Wilson. You, you got to let him throw the ball. You can't let him be a pedestrian. You talking about every time? Bro, chill out with my brother, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. I hate when you disrespect him, bro. I'm gonna disrespect you. Oh to man! Guy. Wait till we get off camera. No, <laughs> I am getting on his head. <laughs> Come on, man, get in the music. Ah, uh, I got, I got, I got a music topic myself too. I'm gonna let you get into your bag first. Girls, who run this? <laughs> oh yeah, Beyonce yes, Homecoming. B drop <clears throat> on Netflix documentary. We stand the queen. Drop the album. The album is live music. I don't care for live music, but you might, and I ain't disrespecting it. Don't come for me, Beehive. I like the ending song, uh, Before I Let Go. That, you know, that is stuck in my head. It got you don't even like the original. Huh? <laughs> got a bounce beat to it. It got DJ Jubilee sample in there. Y'all know nothing about that. With the get ready, get ready, get ready. Take Keith Kill the beat. You got a little uh, taste like candy. You be like, look, you got that mixed in there. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. cameo, right? dog. Yeah? Cameo. Okay. Candy. I'm saying the song, boy. Know your roots, bro. Why you? Man. My <laughs> fault, bro. You get your second cameo on the show and you trying to check me. You right, bro. I'm the star. You ain't the star. Yet. Young Brew the you star. <laughs> Young Brew the star. Then, yeah, I mean, and bro. then um, Wiz got a, doc, a docu-series that just dropped on Apple Music. Mm. Um, Wiz got an album dropping on 420 for y'all people that do what people do on 420. But... You know, what they be doing on 420? I don't know. Easter the day after 420. Hey, man, I know Easter. what they do on 420. Because I'm going <laughs> Happy up on Easter 420. to all the people. You know, yeah, 420 has, is every day for God you, will buddy. rise. God is he's he's risen. Right. Yep. Every day. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Keep it holy. That was, anyway, your, that was your music break Hey, man. Uh, I don't know who else dropped. Not yet. Oh, my boy. Um, My boy I went to high school with. His name is The Set. Hashtag The Set. Um, me and him got a song together called Loner Night from back in the day. His debut album drops tomorrow because this is recorded. Thursday, y'all not gonna see this till Sunday, so it'll be out by the time y'all see this. But Dang, you it's called, on us. it's called, it's you know, thank, you gotta make it shit. <laughs> yeah, it's called Ultra Vibes. It come out on all streaming platforms. He got a single out now called Um Lit Forever. He, he, he going hard. He going crazy. I think he could be one of the next greats. Next up in that uh R and B hip hop wave. I like it. Rap. That's the wave, wave nowadays. Yeah, the R and B hip hop wave. Yeah, like what Black that. doing? I like that. Yeah, he on that type of vibe. Like, yeah, that's the type that's of vibe, vibe. you're going to get from him. And um, Apple Music, uh, number one song is, I think it's still Old Town Road. Uh, Old Town Road. I'm going to take second, my horse to the Old Town Road. Second song is Sang- Sanguine Paradise, 
Uzi. That's a Rack is also top 15. All right, let me stop it right there. Oh. This is a little nice segue. What's right. a better song, That's a Rack or Sanguine Paradise? Because because B thinks That's a Rack is blows better. Sanguine Paradise out the water. Sanguine. Tell us why you think That's a Rack is the better Uzi single. And the baby is number three with Shug. Told y'all he had the baby three. hard. But, I ain't asked about the baby. But that's a wreck. It's better than Sanguine Paradise because <coughs> that song is just it just gets to you. Like when when sang when whatever it's Sanguine. called. Yeah, whenever whenever <laughs> that song when <laughs> when Sanguine, when Sanguine, when Sanguine, when Sanguine, when Sanguine Paradise. When that song just, I mean words. I like the beginning of it, but it's like when he do stuff with the beat, like stop it and then do a little do 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 and then they go back to him rapping, but him just rapping like regular, like it'd be kind of like boring. It. I get yeah, it'd be like kind of boring. I feel it. And then um, what you, what you think was better? Sanguine. Have you have you heard the both Uzi singles? I haven't. I've been looking for him, bro. I just I've been looking for. I've been, been, been looking for him, bro. They, I just kept out there in the open. they on Spotify. Nah, nah, no oh, cap. Yeah. I've been I've been on my I've been on my nip to heavy. That's, I don't oh like that. Oh my god! What you I mean? didn't like that. That's kind of sweet, bro. Pause. <laughs> that was kind of sweet. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Pause. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> I get I've what been you're listen, saying. I've been, been, been listening. I've been listening to Nipsey's. I've been listening to Nipsey's old said, stuff. We've been on the nip tip. <laughs> nip tip. Yeah, that, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> hey, edit that. <laughs> edit that out. Bro. Oh, you can't even say. No. Oh, I say forgot. No, yeah, Yoki's got a fine for that. I forgot. I'm not editing none of this out. This no, is bro, you, got, you can't. <laughs> bro, listen. They gonna ban us because he's being weird. And I've been, I've been on the Saint. Y'all don't, y'all probably don't know who this is, but I've been on my Saint John wave too. Y'all who know that? that is. Who is that? Sound with good music. Uh, um, Rock Nation. Rock Nation. Okay. Rock Nation. That boy gonna be the truth. I'm telling you. Saint John. Rock Nation. Saint come John, bro. Come just sign check. me, Rock Nation. Just look at it. I, I think it's, his his album's called The Collection. He 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 been popping up on stuff. I've seen him. I've got good music. I ain't listen. I ain't Definitely listen. dropped the album you know in the group message. You know people don't trust your music opinion. I gotta confirm it, bro. <laughs> That's why I was like, nobody gonna listen to the album that I. You uh, sent it, but <laughs> nobody confirmed it. You could have um, at least looked. What's that? So, what's that weekend single? Weekend. The one with uh, SZA and Travis Scott. Oh my! Power is power. Lord, let me tell you something. It's not. That. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> it's not it. Don't listen to it. I love SZA, The Weeknd, and Travis Scott more than Travis. anybody else probably. That's cap. No, well, Tra- The Weeknd and Travis Scott for sure. I've been on The Weeknd since yeah. he was since he's been dropped. You know, you don't need first, like that. The first uh, tape, House of Balloons. Then I was I went back and listened to the stuff when he was the noise. Then on top of that, SZA been out. My cousin been trying to put me on it for a long time, but you know, Control was one of my favorite albums. Then you got Travis Scott. I've been on Travis Scott since. Days before rodeo, and I went back and listened to Al Faro and all mm-hmm. the old stuff. So, whatever. But that song is trash. His best album is Birds, by the way, Travis. I was just gonna get into that, really. Okay, before we end this episode, let's get into it. What is Travis Scott's best album? Go. Or oh, best project? I'm gonna say Rodeo. Mm, I like it. Come back to me. I'm gonna go Birds, man. What's y'all reasoning? Astro, what is y'all reasoning? Don't just give me. Just, just thing. let me, let me know. Let me know when I can. Go. I feel like he get better production wise as yeah. he keep going on. I That's mean, why I like <laughs> his top two is Rodeo and Astro to me because like, like Rodeo, like, that's just a whole vibe. I don't like, even that like Rodeo as much no more. That is a vibe. I, like, I got Birds over Rodeo. Birds but, was a whole vibe. Rodeo is my number three, this, but so you I think tell literally me. it go in order when he drop them. Like it go Astro Birds. Rodeo, yeah, Days Before I, I was Rodeo, that Al Ferro. That's how I feel. His best project, though, is to me, is Days Before Rodeo. Yeah. Like, I mean, it just depends yeah. on what you're looking for. So like, Astro, I feel like Astro gave me a taste of all of that. I feel like Astro, Astro I mean, was more party. party. It was more party. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? It depends on I'm what. saying Rodeo, like, Pray for Love, 90210, Impossible, Maria, I'm Drunk. Like, them are whole vibes right there. Them mm-hmm. songs right there. And then no, you got saying, that's what I'm saying. He got hits on it like yeah. 90210 and Maria. That's my favorite two out there. Them um them just the best might might mm. be his best song. Like 90210 might arguably go down as his best song ever, still. Yes. But mm. nah, people No. I've I've heard people that's not Travis fans say like mm. 90210 might be the best thing I've ever heard. I'm I no. don't know. When I first heard Goosebumps, I was like, uh, I know it's kinda like a hype like, you when like it's, Goosebumps. I love Goosebumps. I, mean, I, I like, like the song after Goosebumps. First take. First take. That's yeah, I like it too. Song. Oh I yeah, it. I love that. I don't know. Two one zero is not his best song. What's your What's his best song? Um, I say impossible. His impossible? best song. Uh, that's up there, bro. 
That's up there. I don't like Impossible. Impossible You're is crazy. crazy. I like it, but I don't like it that much to put it as my best. I listen to R.I.P. Screw more than anything. Really? That's a lot of it's a lot of sounds in there that you probably don't listen to. Yeah, I don't listen to it. <laughs> you don't know music. R.I.P. Screw. Talking about Astro World. Yo, Yosemite. I don't know, but no, nah, I think I don't think Donald Two One Zero. That might be his best song. Yosemite. Yes. First take. I got it in there. Drugs. You should try it. Is in there. Yeah. yeah of course. And, um, I don't know how Bruce. I don't know why Bruce feel like that about um. I don't think that's his best. It's one of the best. I think it's the best. So what's the what's the best though, producer? I just feel like Birds was more of a cohesive project. It just made more sense as far as like. And then like it's songs on Birds know. that people don't even listen to no more, but that are really hot, like Sweet Sweet. Yeah. Yes. SPD interlude. Them wonderful. But, but like they really starting to listen to him because his songs on two K too. Yeah, no. that Sweet Sweet yeah. Sweet, bro. Especially when you do it live. It. Sweet Sweet live is so much better than Sweet Sweet on the yes. album. But they both hard though. Yes. But yeah, bro. Hearing them do it live is hard. But um, that's really all we got on the music front. Um, and then on Astro, I like stop trying to be God. Thanks. Yeah, that's another good song. And the, the way he did it live, so beautiful. Oh my God! Because okay. they did not so so amazing. It, it was. Oh boy, Brandon Black. He said, "Oh my God!" He said, "Oh my, oh my God. God!" Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, man. Seems like you guys are in a rush. You all here just want to jump out your seat. Cause I got somewhere to be. Got moves to make. Got people to see. Sorry for answering the call on the podcast. I can't keep it professional. I'm the star. That's what I do. Oh my Nobody God. up here thinks you're the star. It's okay. <laughs> not even no people that finance this think you're the star. It, it, That's why you're not even the center. I'm not in the center. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Been said that. Stop trying to be God. Thank you. <laughs> and this concludes episode 12 of the Pack Life Podcast. Thanks for coming through, JB. Y'all boys be safe on y'all no trip. Doubt. I'm not shaking always, your hand. Sir, no, we're not going nowhere. Who ain't going nowhere? They don't be listening to this. <laughs> and yeah, I hope so. <laughs> see y'all, folks. See y'all. Uh, see y'all later. Peace. I can't Cut stand y'all, bro. <laughs>